I did enough to win the first two rounds, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what I think. I lost that fight, and I've been just sitting on it, dwelling on it, like you said, for the past 11 months. So I'm ready to go out there on Saturday night and, and reverse it and get that win. Very nice. They give you the matchup, Edson Barbosa, a guy that's you know been doing it at a high level for a long time. So what did you think when that was the name? Oh, man, I got goosebumps. Got uh, like my hair standing up. I was like, yes, this is one, man. Because after that, I mean, you, go, you come off a loss, you don't know what you're going to get offered. You don't know what you're going to get. But uh, to, to get a, a name like Edson Barbosa right off, off of a loss, dude, I, this is all, I feel like this is the biggest fight of my career, honestly. Yeah. Where do you evaluate him, right? Because he had, he had some setbacks, but he's still obviously in, incredibly dangerous, yeah. right? And he's a guy yeah. that you, yeah. I guess you know you're going to get hurt a little bit when you go in there. <laughs> and I embrace it. I'm not scared of it at all. Um, uh, he's one of those guys that I'm, I know I'm going to be seeing his, his highlight reel. I mean, I've been seeing his highlight reel since I was in high school. But uh, for, the, for the next couple of days, since, you know, when Edson's fighting, they like to put that spinning uh, hook kick of Terry Adam uh, during fight week. So I know I'm going to be seeing that. But it's similar to when I fought Emmett. They just kept replaying Emmett knockouts. And I'm just like, all right, all right, that's good, that's okay. But uh, it's good because it, it, it keeps that, that little bit of fear, that little bit of uh, those nerves, and you need those. I was gonna say, you said you embrace it. Like on paper, when they announce this fight, I think everybody's like, oh, this is gonna be an absolute war. I mean, is that what you feel like as well? Or do you feel like I can go in there and dominate this guy? Yeah, that's exactly what I feel like, the second part. But um, it's, it's, it's one of those fights that you run it 100 times, it's gonna be exciting every single time. There's just no possible way that this fight could be boring. Last thing for me, I guess, obviously the goal here is to win, but what else? I mean, do you feel like, because I feel like you had like all this momentum behind you, right? Do you feel like you need to go out there and do something special to kind yeah. of regain that back? Yeah, I, I got to go out there and not just win. It, it, every time I win, I feel like it's, I've had some good wins in UFC, but I, I need that statement-making win, and uh, to do that over someone like Edson Barboza, who is a legend in the sport, he's definitely going to be a Hall of Famer. Uh, but this is the one. This is, this is the one for me. Shane, uh, right here. You obviously matched up with Hakeem Dewadu before this. Uh, he's on a long win streak. He's racking up a lot of impressive wins. Do you, but do you prefer fights against Edson, the legend, or do you want those fights against the guys that are just on these I long mean, win streaks? I mean, no disrespect to, to Hakeem, but everybody knows who Edson Barboza is, man. Like, it's one of those fights that this is going to propel me. Even though I'm ranked 9 and he's 13, I feel like this is one of those fights that's going to even push me even further. So I, I, how could I not – how could I turn down a fight against Edson Barboza? And then obviously in the last, what, few months, the, the rise of leg kicks has kind of been the talk of the MMA world, especially after the Conor fight, where we saw a, the, the Weidman Hall fight. Yep. So how do you train for someone like Edson, who, like he himself said, like, I've been doing this since my first UFC fight, I'm, and you obviously said it. So how do you train leg kicks? I'm sure it's I, difficult. I, I come from a, a kickboxing, a primarily, primarily kickboxing-based gym already, so it's something that we've been doing for years already. Everybody on my gym can kick. Everybody in my gym is a primarily a kicker too, so it works out for me. And then since your last fight, a lot's been going on in the division. You know, you had the title fight, Max came back, uh, Giga, the rise of Giga Chikadze, uh the Ortega zombie fight. So what do you make of this state of the division right now since your last fight? It's been fun, man. I, I was bummed that uh, the Ortega and um, Volkanovski fight got canceled because that puts a little bit of a log jam at the, at the end because then you got Holloway who's still waiting there because he's probably going to get a title shot next. So that, that's that been a little bit of fr uh, frustrating, but... I haven't been able to fight, so it hasn't affected me too much. But moving forward, it might after this one. Over here, Shane. What's your mindset coming in with this being the longest layoff of your career? You used to be an active fighter. You had COVID, and then all this is kind of like jitters, since it's kind of something fresh you've never done in your career. Uh, no, I kind of it feels like I'm just picking back up where I left off. Uh, I don't believe in ring rust because I train my ass off. Like Dominic Cruz always says, too, ring rust isn't real. Ring rust is what you make it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in camp 24-7, 365, unless I have some kind of crazy injury because this, this is my lifestyle. I live this, and this is what I do to provide for my family, so I take this super serious. I, I live this life. Since you're a period of the sport, do you watch all combat sports? Like, did you watch Canelo fight last week? Yeah, I did, yes. How much is seeing somebody like that – at that level, inspire you just as a straight combatant and as a fan of just combat sports oh, in general. Huge fan of Canelo Alvarez. He's, he's probably, I think, I think Pound Pound, he's, he's the best fighter right now in the world. And he's, this, this, the skill he has, man, it's, it's beautiful to watch. And you, you, you're a big, a big level fighter. Do you take anything when you see somebody like that on that big stage from the mental game? Like he doesn't flinch and stuff like that, or just seeing the people at 261. I know you, you weren't there, but does that atmosphere get you ready to hear all the craziness you're gonna hear on Saturday? Yeah, I, I was, I was excited to see the the, the weigh-in show for for 261, just see the crowd, and then to see the one. But if you watch the first fight of that that 261 card. It was packed, and the fans were going wild, and that was just giving me fucking goosebumps, man. I couldn't wait to feel that myself. I can't wait to make the walk. I can't wait for the weigh-in show, which I didn't think I would be so excited for, but I'm actually hyped just for the weigh-in show to get that little bit of a teaser just to feel that atmosphere again. 
And is that all, all only about getting your hand raised, or do you have to put on a show because people are pegging y'all? If, if we were doing odds in Vegas, y'all y'all are odds to win the fight of the night. No, no fight of the night. This is gonna be my first performance of the night. <laughs> also, so is that, is that's kind of, you got that swag. Is that saying sense anyway that you think you're gonna finish him? Yes. <laughs> hey Shane, uh, New Yorker to New Yorker. <laughs> you know, home's been hit hard. You know, gyms have been closed since, you know, well, they've only been open since August. <laughs> so what's it going to mean for you to finally have the chance to step on the mat and compete in front of a packed house, crowds of thousands? Like I said, man, I'm, I'm excited to just feel that energy, to feel the crowd. And I got a lot of friends and a lot of family that follow me for all these fights. So as soon as they found out that, that this one's going to be open to the public, I got a lot of people coming. So to, to hear them and to see them in the crowd, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be crazy. Thank you. Thank you guys.